Hey, uh, so my take on Ava and Franco Matias, um, at first I thought they were just thieves, art thieves. Um, I didn't want to like them, but after I read the book, I think I kind of understood them. Uh, they helped me develop a new, uh, I guess, definition for what art can mean. Um, basically, art is helping a people appreciate something in a different light. Uh, or simply making people think about something that they may have never even considered before, you know, considered thinking about. Um, I think th that's very unique because um, it's not traditional, but it's also an art form, just helping people realize something. Um, I thought it was pretty cool that they came up with this uh, entity, I guess, in which they could take from other people's art work and uh, tweak it a little bit, alter it, even, you know, deform it, and then put it back up on the web and share it like as if it was their own, which I guess you, I would argue technically was because they've changed it, therefore it's not the original, therefore it is their new creation. Um, I think that by creating that fake entity and using the platform from which to share information and all these things and even the capability of being able to steal things uh, I think Luther Bissett I think that's for me that's what that was is just he was that was the name of the plot a platform that people used to share things to share information um, and Darko Maver you know I, I just thought it was ingenious um, it was very creative uh, again I didn't really get to this point of liking them until the very end reading through the whole story um, the th part where they steal uh, little pieces of famous artworks and things like that um, the only problem I would really see or have with that is if they didn't allow people to do the same to them um, I understand if it'd be yeah, kind of cool if no one else knew and you knew you had a little piece of history something that you actually really liked or you know admired I think that's cool it's different but of course it can be frowned down upon I, for obvious reasons it's stealing you're trashing technically someone's uh, artwork um, the fake newspapers and the movie posters I thought that was very clever I mean you're counting on uh, people, the um, internet, and um, basically mass media's reliance on people's mass hyster hysteria in which they, people like won't even question things but they'll believe it if they just see it. That, you know, something that is on you know, a billboard or it looks real looks like traditionally like what everything else is um, they would believe it they wouldn't even cite their sources check you know and research and check on these things I was I thought that was really clever you know basically the absurdity of it all is just like people and these platforms for which they use are so dumb like I just I thought it was like a mockery of it all you know doing it because they could um, so I thought that was cool. Um, the whole life sharing thing was also very risky and completely like uh, nuts. But again, I think it just exaggerated the absurdity of the fact that people so easily share so such personal, intimate, uh, things about themselves on the internet um, and I just thought that was brilliant actually to literally give everything give everyone full access to your lives to do whatever they show please with it um, I thought that was really cool you know it's uh they're definitely uh, not for everyone I think it's either you like them or you hate them but um, for me definitely a plus Love this class.